Trudeau's never had that happen to him before. Oh, Scott Bryson quit in the midst of a scandal, too, but that's because he's in deep political trouble. I, I mean, no one has quit Trudeau's cabinet on principle. That's quite rare these days, isn't it? Look at her letter resigning. She quit as Veterans Affairs Minister, but, but look, about two-thirds of the way down, can I quote, she says, I'm aware that many Canadians wish for me to speak on matters that have been in the media over the last week. I am in the process of obtaining advice on the topics that I am legally permitted to discuss in this matter. And as such, I've retained the Honourable Thomas Al, uh, Albert Cromwell, CC, as counsel. Oh, just that. Oh, she's lawyered up. Oh, with just a, just a former Supreme Court judge as her lawyer. No biggie. Yeah. Kind of guy you get to do a real estate deal for you. Oh, my God. A former Supreme Court judge is her lawyer. And I don't know if you noticed, she signed that letter, Puglass. You look at that. You see it there, respectfully? Puglass, the Honorable. So that, that's an Aboriginal name, uh, which actually means honorable, honorable host. As in, you can't buy her off with a few shiny baubles, Justin. Jody Wilson-Raybould's dad, Bill Wilson, has been raging against Trudeau on behalf of his daughter, Here's a Facebook post. You know, he's an Aboriginal politician, too. He fought against Pierre Trudeau back in the day. He says he hasn't spoken about confidential matters with his daughter, but she knows how to fight and won't dishonor herself or her family. I believe that. Can I read to you a bit from a recent interview he did with McLean's magazine? Let me just read a bit. He says, uh, they said to him, do you believe she'll come away from this clean? And he said, I believe so. I believe she could lose her career as a white politician. You don't cross SNC-Lavalin and get away with it. I think her career could be in jeopardy, but why not? If your career is based on dishonesty, lose it. If your career hinges on integrity, then keep your integrity. And they asked him again, even if she's cleared in all of this, you still think her career's in jeopardy? And she, uh, her dad answered, I don't think there's any question about that. Look at what young Trudeau did to her. Kicked her in the teeth and put her in Veterans Affairs. There's no cabinet position lower than that. He kicked her as far down in the cabinet hierarchy as you could possibly go. The next lowest is Indian Affairs. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. But that's probably true. But, you know, there's no depth to which politicians will not sink, will not debase themselves to, if it buys them some perks and power. I mean, David Lametti, the newest justice minister, he's, he's not only said that he doesn't think any investigation into this whole thing is necessary, he actually told reporters that he might just let SNC-Lavalin off the hook anyways. He's still considering dropping the charges against them in the middle of all this. So yeah, I wonder what else he's agreed to do to keep his job. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.